Okay, function arithmetic. Uh, this is kind of a strange concept, but you do will use it a lot in calculus. Let's hope you all go that far. But they give you a couple of functions, and then you're going to do arithmetic on the functions. First one is they want you to add two functions. So the f plus the g of x just equals the function of x plus the g of x. It's a lot easier than it looks, okay, because we know what the f of x is. It's 2x plus 3. And we know what the g of x is. Right? And we're going to add them. Right? That's what they're telling us to do. So there's the f of x plus the g of x. And since everything's being added, we can simply drop the parentheses, add like terms, and we get the answer. Bam. And then they're going to ask you to find like, if they get, they're going to give you two functions, and they're, they're going to say, find us the f plus the g of a real number. You've got two ways to do that. First way is to plug it into the original functions, right? So every time you see a negative, I, I'm sorry, every time you see an x from, from the f of x, you're going to substitute it with a negative 1. Do some math. So the f of x of negative 1 is 1. Repeat the process with the g of x. Every time you see an x, you're going to replace it with a negative 1. That comes out to negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And then you can simply add those together, and you get 0. But double check. Plug those into your new function that you just found, and you should get the same answer. So negative 1 squared is positive 1 minus 2 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 minus 2 is 0. What do you know? It works. Ha <laughs> ha. And here's a, here's a subtraction function arithmetic real quick. The only thing that you have to remember is when you're subtracting the second function to put it in parentheses so you don't mess up. So again, we know what the f of x is and we know what the g of x is and we know we need to subtract them. But put the second function, put the whole thing in parentheses so we don't accidentally mess up this second sign here. So it looks like x, I'm sorry, 2x plus 3 minus x squared plus 2. And I'm not going to nitpick here, but this can get pretty confusing on its own. So we're just going to call it a uh, negative x squared plus 2x plus 5. That's it. MGZ out.